gotten a chance to learn about Danielle's story. Uh, basically, she has a, a very rare uh, blood disorder, and she requires uh, blood transfusions once every two weeks. Uh, it's just cool as leukemia, and so she was born with a really low uh, red blood cell count, and because of this, it sort of affects her life in her young ages, and with the blood drives and people like us helping her out, she can have a fruitful and happy life. How old is she? Three. three. I think she's three years old. She couldn't be here today. She was supposed to come with her family and give a sort of talk, not her herself, but her parents. Um, and she wasn't able to be here because of uh, her sickness. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty amazing story. She came in, she was really happy, laughing, smiling. Um, and sort of, it was sort of amazing how she has to go through that once every three weeks as a three-year-old and still able to have a smile on her face. Mr. Ruskin, how many blood transfusions is that a year we said yesterday? 17 and a third. 17 and a third, so probably 18. 18 transfusions that she gets every year. That's a lot. So think about 18 of you could be the one, because she lives in Connecticut, your blood could match Daniela's blood and be the one to help save her life. Because her body cools anemia, her body is not able to produce red blood cells. So think about that. When you donate, you could be helping this little girl. I say that I give blood for girls like Danielle because why should her childhood be stripped away and she has to spend six months of her, of her year in, in the hospital just for treatment because of her medical conditions when I'm perfectly healthy and I can do the best I can to save her life.